So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video, I guess we have discussed type conversion or type casting, like how to convert one data type to another data type. Okay, and with the help of one example, like we have discussed how to add digits of a two digit number, that program we have discussed, right. So the next topic is operators in Python. See, we have uh, discussed what are operator plus till now, like if you use this plus uh, for strings, uh, then it will be a concatenation of two strings, it will concatenate these two strings, plus also means addition, right. So these other operators are also there in like in C and C++ also we have some operators, arithmetic, relational, logical and all. Same in Python also we have different type of operators. All the operators will be discussing one by one, right, with the help of examples and programs. We will see practical also, fine. But before that, I just want to tell you one thing. After collaborating with Gate Academy, an academy has come up with the biggest initiative for engineering students and the motive is to empower engineers. For this, an academy is conducting a free of post scholarship test on 25th of September at 11 a.m. And the questions are curated by Gate Academy top educators. And if you take this test, then you can apply for Gate 2023 for free. Yes, the top 3000 rankers will get their Gate 2023 registration fee refunded by an academy. That is not all. First ranker from each branch will get their one year college fee, you know, refunded by an academy up to rupees 1 lakh. And you also stand a chance to win scholarship from pool of rupees 30 crore. So this kind of test has never happened and it is a wonderful opportunity for you guys. So the link, the enrollment link I will put in the description box of this video. And you can use my code JKL10 to enroll for this test. So go and enroll for this test right now. All the relevant links and details you will find in the description box of this video. Now, let's see. What are operators in Python? What are operators in Python? See, operators simply what? These are some symbols. So these are used to perform some operations on maybe values or maybe variables. Like if I say like 5 plus 2. This is what plus is what operator and this 5 and 2 these are operands or values you can say. Or simply if I write like a is equal to 5, b is equal to 2 then I can say a plus b. So a and b are variables okay. So these operators are what used to perform some operations on, on either values or variables okay. Like plus we have. So like this we have more mathematical operators also okay. Now in this, this plus and uh, suppose I say 5 minus 2, this minus, these are operators 5 and 2 operand, A and B operand, okay. Now there are multiple, there are you know multiple types of operands in uh, Python like assignment, uh, sorry the first arithmetic operators, then relational or you can say comparison operator, logical operator, assignment operator, bitwise operator and some uh, you know special operators are there like identity operator, membership operator. So all these operators will be discussing one by one. In this video, we'll be talking about more arithmetic operators. Okay, let's discuss. So these are different type of operators: arithmetic, relational, or comparison, logical, bitwise, assignment, identity, and membership. So this video will be discussing more about arithmetic operators. I hope you know, like in arithmetic, we have plus. So no need to explain. Like plus is for what? Addition, obviously. Then minus, subtraction. Then this is what? star or you can say this is for multiplication, this is for division, okay and this is for modulus, modulus means it will give remainder, okay like 5 mod 2 means the remainder, if you divide 5 by 2 the remainder would be 1, so it will give 1 remainder. Now one thing in Python if I write 5 divided by 2, you are using Python 3 point something, 3.10 like 3 point x version we are using. So here if you write down this thing, if you print this, it will give you 2.5. Float number it will give you. In Python 3.x, this division will also, will always give you a float number, floating point number. If I write something like this, 2 divided by 2 or I would say 4 divided by 2. So this 2 divide this 4 cleanly, it would be 2 but the answer would be 2.0 a floating point number always in 3.x, in 3.x version. 
Now, if you want to get integer value, I want to get only 2 because it divided cleanly. Okay. So, you can use floor division. One more operator is there. Floor division is you can represent that thing with 2 slash. This is floor division. So, if I write here floor division 2, now it will give me 2. Okay. This is floor division. Next is power. See, power is month means 2 raised to power 3. It's like 8. 4 raised to power 2. It will give 4 into 2 that is 16. Okay. Now, power here, how we to, you can calculate using an operator. Power, for power there is an operator double star. So, you, you can write simply like print 2 double star 3. Simple. It will give 8. 4 double star 2. It will give 16. So, this is what power. Okay. I will show you practically also. We will see uh, you know with the examples uh, on, on our laptop. But I hope you got this thing. Now, if in one expression we have more than one operator like one expression I have there are two more concept when it comes to operator I hope uh, you know you have heard these things precedence and associativity so see suppose if I write something like this 5 plus 2 into 3 so here we have two operators into and plus so which one you will evaluate first if I evaluate 5 plus 2 first means 5 plus plus 2 is 7 into 3 it will give you 21 second way is what evaluate this first that means 5 plus 6 it will give you 11 so which is right obviously this is right we know some rules are there like board mass rule which one to evaluate first so here also we have precedence of the operators now this into multiplication is having higher precedence precedence than this plus so what is that precedence chart for the, these arithmetic operators I am telling only arithmetic operators first obviously first would be parenthesis okay then there is power or you can say exponent this operator exponent then we have you can say like uh, we have uh, multiplication division flow division and mode then plus and minus plus and minus are having least precedence I am talking about only arithmetic operators, not about all other operators in this video right now. The precedence and associativity of these operators. So, this is the precedence of the, the arithmetic operators. You can say we can write down here PEMDAS. Parenthesis, first exponent, then multiplication, division. At the same uh, you know, level we have, then addition, subtraction at the same level we have. Okay. Now, one expression is something like this. This is the expression now. So, here we have, okay, plus, minus are having less precedence than in 2 and this division, okay. But, this multiplication and divide are having same precedence. So, which one you will evaluate first now? So, this confusion will be solved with the help of one more concept that, that is associativity. When more than one operators are there of same precedence, then associativity comes into picture. Now, for this associativity is what? For these operators, associ associativity is left to right. For plus and minus also left to right. For this, it is right to left. For exponent or for power, it is right to left. Okay. For these, left to right. Means, we will move from left to right. And whichever operator comes first, we will solve that first. So, okay. Rather than plus and minus, first we will solve multiplication and division. Because these are having higher precedence. But which one from these two move left to right? Multiplication comes first. So, this would be solved first. 3 into 2 that is 6. Then this 5. This would be uh, 10 divided by 5 would be 2.0. Because this is a division not flow division like this. Then only plus and minus are remaining. So, same left to right associativity move left to right. Then this 5 plus 6. This would be solved first. That is 11. Then here have minus 1 plus we have 2.0. Then this minus would be solved for that is 10, 10 plus 2.0 and the answer would be 12.0 like this. These are very simple I guess arithmetic operators. Only the, diff uh, no, the more two the new operators are flow division and exponent. Okay. So, you have to 
okay you have to change you have to change some this expression i don't know how you will change but the answer i want it should give 11.0 maybe you can add like in test you can add parenthesis because parenthesis are having higher precedence if you add somewhere parenthesis then that would be executed first but you have to add some parenthesis here maybe one or two i don't know but the answer should be 11.0 let's try it so i guess that's it for arithmetic operators let me just show you these operators on my laptop so let's create a new file right click on this then new then file and name i'm writing arithmetic operators arithmetic underscore operators dot py okay so simply like if i want to print 5 plus 2 then simply you can just write down this thing into print okay and you can just right click and run this and it will give you 7 okay so i guess these are simple plus minus and all let me just show you this divide thing okay division See, so it will give you 2.5. If I write here rather than 5, I'm writing 4 here. And now let me just run this and it will give you 2.0. It is dividing it cleanly. It should give 2, but it is in 2.0. So if you want that integer part only, not floating point number, just use flow division. Okay, double the slash. It will give you 2. This is flow division. Okay, now power, what about power? See if i write star star 2 then it will give you 16 okay if i write here uh, star uh, like uh, 2 raised to power 3 i want to do it will give you 8 2 raised to power 3 it will give you 8 so this is what exponent or power okay now what are other operators modulo operator we can write something like this like 5 and uh, this mode 2 5 mode 2, the remainder would be what? 1. So, it will give you 1. It will give remainder. Fine. And the expression we have discussed, let me just write down that, that expression here. Say this was the expression. Let me just run this and it will give you what? 12.0. Okay. In this expression, it has applied that precedence and associativity rule. Okay. That we have discussed. So, these I think arithmetic operators are very simple. Or rather than this directly writing this, you can what you can do what? You can just take a variable like a is equal to 5 and b equal to I am taking 2. And rather than this, you can write down print a divided by b. This is also fine. On the variables, a divided by b will give you 2.5. This is division or flow division. Okay. So now one assignment for you is you have to calculate. BMI, BMI body mass index. So, what is the formula for that? Weight divided by BMI, weight divided by height, ka square, height square, height power 2. That is the thing, like height, I am writing here height into height this thing but this simply you cannot write down this because because of associativity this divide would be executed first so you have to put this height into height into parenthesis height into height means height keep you have you don't have to use height into height you have to use power operator exponent operator okay so this is the formula weight in kg you have to take in from the user enter your weight in kg enter your height in meters in meters okay so height in meters would be in float okay so weight you can take an int value and height you have to take float so you have to take you have to use input function take input from the user enter your weight enter your height and simple hint is what maybe sometime maybe you have to do some type casting type conversion and then use the operators we have discussed till now arithmetic operators and you just you can calculate this thing if you are not getting this point uh, this you know exercise you can let me know in comment section maybe we can discuss the solution in next video okay so you have to calculate the bmi body mass index 
So in the next video, we will see uh, relational operators or comparison operators in Python. So now we will see in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.